19 says, a historian says, the land party achieved its only national victory in Benestria. Is that a real country or a real place? Sounds made up. In 1935. That's their only national victory in Benestria in 1935. It received most of its support that year in rural and semi-rural areas where the bulk of Benestria's population lived at the time. The economic woes of the years surrounding that election hit agricultural and small business interests the hardest, and the Land Party specifically targeted those groups in 1935, which was also the only time they re got a national victory. I conclude that the success of the Land Party that year was due to the combination of the land parties specifically addressing the concerns of these groups and the depth of the economic problems people in these groups were facing. So again, this is a cause and effect conclusion. You'll see cause and effect on like a quarter of all LSAT logical reasoning arguments probably, sometimes more than. Um, I've only sampled it a few times, but I've seen sections where it's like a third of the um, questions in the section had cause and effect in the argument. Cause and effect arguments are inherently uh, susceptible to the reversal of cause and effect thing and the alternate cause thing. So if I was going to attack this argument, notice I haven't even read the question stem yet. Reading the question stem first is one of the worst techniques you could possibly use on the LSAT. I don't care that other big prep companies teach you to read the question stem first. I think you're killing yourself by doing that. I think it's causing you to not understand the arguments. So please don't read the question stems first. No matter what type of question this is, I would like to think about the weakeners before I try to answer the question. So what if... Now the reversal of cause and effect here doesn't make any sense, right? Because they won the election and they previously targeted the groups. So it doesn't make any sense to say they, because they won the election, they then targeted the groups before. Right? So reversal of cause and effect sometimes isn't going to make any sense. Um, but alternate cause always makes sense. So I would be thinking about any other alternate reason why they won. How about, now if it was true, how about they were the only party that ran that year? Or how about there was another party running, but the other party nominated Donald Trump to be the other candidate? <laughs> you know? And then it's like, I don't care what your strategy was. Your strategy was just, well, it was the other guy was Trump, so of course we won. Um, what if, what if, what if? What if the Martians came down with their ray guns and forced everyone to vote for the land party? Okay? Now the question actually says, each of the following, if true, strengthens the argument, except, so that means there are four strengtheners, those are the wrong answers, and then the one uh, correct answer, tell me about the nature of that one correct answer. There are four strengtheners and there's one, what? Weakener or irrelevant. Yeah, weakener or neutral or irrelevant. It's not just not just weakeners. So the correct answer here, if it was like, um, it's foggy in San Francisco, that could absolutely be the correct answer because it's, it does not strengthen this argument. All right, I'm looking for weakener or irrelevant and there should be four strengtheners. So A, in preceding elections, the land party made no attempt to address the interests of economically distressed urban groups. Oh. Looked good for a second, but I thought it said rural or semi-rural. It says urban. Urban groups, not relevant to the argument. I'm pretty sure that's the answer. I don't see how that can possibly strengthen the argument. Now, to double check, I'll look at B, C, D, and E, and I'll see if they each strengthen the argument. B says, voters are more likely to vote for a political party that focuses on their problems, which the land party did in 1935. That strengthens the argument. C says the land party had most of its successes when there was economic distress in the agricultural sector, which was happening in 1935 when they won. D, no other major party in Benestria specifically addressed the issues of people who lived in semi-rural areas in 1935, but the land party did, which makes it look like that was the reason why they won. 
E, the greater the degree of economic distress someone is in, the more likely that person is to vote. And that might not be the best strengthener in the world, but there was economic distress that year. These people specific, the land party specifically targeted these people that were in economic distress. If economic distress makes it more likely that you'll vote, then that helps to explain that that's why they won the election. So I see B, C, D, and E all as strengtheners. They don't have to prove the conclusion of the argument to be correct, but they're all strengtheners, and A is irrelevant because it's talking about urban groups, which were not part of the argument. So number 19, A.